Greetings YouTube, Sega Zombie here and welcome back guys to a new video and yes, this is my first video of 2024. It's been a few weeks guys, it really has, but it's been a mental, mental end of the year and I'm hoping, really hoping to do a channel update video real soon guys. I have so many videos I want to do, it's just having the time to do them all in but I really want to start the new year with a Spectrum Spectacular there's loads of Spectrum games to go through there's the massive buzz of the Spectrum Next Kickstarter 2 most people have got theirs now and you know the, the feedback's been incredible I thought this would be a good time to sort of showcase some of the games I've picked up for the for the Spectrum Next. We've got so many great games to go through. Loads of homebrew, loads of Next. Uh, one which is a gift. We actually got two gifts, but one that's a, an original Spectrum game, a gift of a fellow YouTuber. And we're going to start with that one first, guys. And that is Shootout. Now, Tetley, ZX Tetley, I'll put a link to his channel down below, guys. Please go and check him out. He does some fantastic gameplay videos. on Not just on the Spectrum, on lots of different micros. I know he's definitely into his Atari 8-bit. And his main love is the TI-99, which is a home computer. The Texas TI-99. I knew nothing about this computer until I started watching ZX Tetley. So, my good friend... Lee ZX Tetley sent me Shootout after covering it on a video. It turned out he had a, a dupe of this game. So he sent it to me, bless him, free of charge. Nice little note in there. Uh, hope you're well, mate. Enjoy the game. Cheers, Lee. So that will forever stay in here. This is a cracking little shooting game, this. Really enjoyed it. And please go and check out Tetley's video where he covers this great game. And the different levels to it. Cracking little game. I don't think I had this one back in the day. I, there's a Western game I'm looking for on the Spectrum. Um, I believe it was on the Spectrum. And I've yet to find it. Um, but yeah, Shootout. Absolutely chuffed to bits with that. And thank you for that, mate. Really appreciated it. Um, then we move on to uh, a couple of homebrew games. Well, there's a stack of homebrew games. Where do I begin? Um, these are games that I missed the boat on ooh, probably a couple of years back. I do know Paul Retrobait managed to grab a couple of these games. And one of them, uh, Travel Through Time, a racing game, which those of you that follow the channel will know. I absolutely adore that game. It's one of my favourite indie games um, done by Zoza. I'm gonna pr I'm gonna butcher the names as I always do, but I managed to bag three of these Zoza games. And first up is Just a Gal. Now these are absolutely tremendous. I know these weren't expensive neither. Um, I believe they're from Russia or Ukraine, one of the two. Hence why they're they're hard to get now with what's going on in the world. But look in there, guys. These boxes are amazing. So you get the data CD, which you've got the tape in the image, a booklet, a PDF of that, English and Russian instructions, posters, drawings, world maps, track maps. There's the tape. It's a lovely baby pink. I'm hoping this plays like travel through time, but instead of cars, it's motorbikes. It, it looks just like... Uh, Super hang on. So I'm really looking forward to playing this. I've not had a chance to play it yet. But I'm hoping to really real soon guys. Uh, get, gets a bit of foam in there to protect it. Then we've got. Uh, oh wow. The soundtrack as well. There's a poster. So this is an awful lot of stuff. That you get in these. We've got all the different maps. On postcards there. It's absolutely stacks of these maps, guys. And then we've got the 
manual there. But the presentation of this is just absolutely amazing. It really is gorgeous. Um, the, the manual is not in colour inside, but it's got clear instructions and how to play the game. I love this window in the back where it displays the screenshots like that. That's beautiful. We've got to put all this back in here now. So I say it all the time. Um, hopefully I will get time to do a follow-up video on this one because this looks a cracking game. And if it's half as good as Travel Through Time, then we're in for an absolute blinder with this. But yeah, first up, we've got Just a Gal. And then next up, another one from Zo Zoza is Drift. Again, you're going to get likewise. The graphics on this look amazing. Now, I have given this one a bit of a play. I found it difficult to know what I was doing. I'm going to need to read the instructions. But again, very similar to Just a Girl. You get loads in here. Postar, soundtrack, the manual, uh, a data CD. We won't get it all out on each of these, but we'll just show the tapes. Bright orange tape there. Did I, I don't know if I showed the inlay for Just a Girl, so we'll show the inlay to this one. But yeah, Drift. 128K only this game. But yeah, I found this quite a challenge to get to grips with the controls of this. I think I was not doing something, so I need to read the manual and find out actually what to do in this game. But again, the window in the back showing that screenshot. These are absolutely stunning. They really are stunning. And then finally, from the same developer, publisher, is Bonnie and Clyde. This is a cracking sort of platform puzzle type game. Sort of done like uh, Bubble Bobble, that sort of thing. But yeah, Bonnie and Clyde. Again, the window on the back. I love the, the uniform of these boxes. I hope they stick with that if they continue to do these physical games. And again, inside, you're getting the same... Uh, freebies chucked in which I absolutely love that all the little uh, stuff they chuck in with these games this one's more on a standard tape we'll have a little look at the inlay of this one but yeah cracking little game no animals were harmed in the making of this game <laughs> that's cool you have nine lives because you're a cat <laughs> really cool little game guys definitely check these out I know these are available to get free I believe if you go to their website uh, and you just want the downloads but these are absolutely fantastic what do you think guys let me know in comments down below if you've played any of these games I'd love to know what you think of them um, but that leads us on to a uh, game which I regard up there with travel through time is this a better game? Possibly because it's an absolutely fantastic shooter. It really is an amazing shooter on the Spectrum. It's been covered loads. I've done live streams on it. I've covered it in, in previous videos. Many YouTubers have covered this game. And that is Redshift. This game just blows me away. Technically, what this achieves on the ZX Spectrum is, is just shocking, guys. It really is. Uh, but I own the small box cassette, Ooh, which is up here somewhere. <laughs> and I was gutted that I missed the boat <clears throat> on this limited edition big box set by Bitmap Soft. Um, it's in a beautiful box. This is really high quality cardboard. We get a little sticker in there. Then we get... A nice little redshift poster. We have a beautiful colour manual and catalogue there. With all the instructions of the game. This really is going to sit pride of place in my collection. Because this is a beautiful, beautiful game. Runs so smooth and fast. And then in there, we've got a nice little uh, tray where we've got... The multimedia CD. And we have the game on tape. But this is beautiful, guys. Absolutely chuffed sick to add 
this to the Spectrum collection. Um, I'm looking to change things around in the uh, retro pad. I really am. I want to move this whole area. Um, I'm possibly going to do a future video on that. I don't know what time um, scale I'm looking at to change this area, but I'm hoping to move this desk and I want one continuous desk in this whole corner so I can have the spectrum and everything on display. I'd love to find a way of actually having my spectrum collection surrounded around the desk so it's not up there out of the way behind that TV. So it's something I'm really thinking about trying to get my creativity juices flowing in the best way of displaying this corner because I really want to have more systems readily available. I want a continued desk that goes all the way around so I can have CRTs and monitors and all my computers and consoles set up in this area. That would be absolutely fantastic. That's the goal. So for 2024, a bit of a quick channel update there is that is something I'm going to look to do and, and the spectrum will be a massive focus on what I do here. But uh, back to the game, Redshift. This is going to sit pride or place. It really is in the collection, guys. Absolutely stunning. Then we've got a couple of um, other homebrew games. We've got Metamorphosis. Again, a game that I think I'm going to need to read the instructions to find out what to do in this game. Another one I struggled a little bit on, guys. But uh, this is from Phoenixware. And again, I got this off the same guy that was selling these. Because um, I missed the boat on this game as well when it was released. And then finally, my, my newest purchase actually. This only come a week or so ago. And that is Sex on the First Date. Uh, this was really cool. It plays more like a demo game really. But there is lots of really cool hidden games on here. Which are really fun. Um, look at that tape. That's a real professional job done on that tape. But again, if you want to see a video on this, uh, hit that link down below for ZX Tetley because he's done a Kraken video covering this game. And I know that he went through a lot of trouble to get this game to run properly so he could do that video. Um, so go and check that out, guys. Please go and check out ZX Tetley's sort of coverage of sex on the first date. Um, but yeah, I really had to show that off. Northern Games. This was for sale on Sinclair for sale on Facebook groups. So yeah, I grabbed that. And then finally, we move on to some Spectrum Next. Now it's the buzz. The buzz is everywhere about the Spectrum Next again because of the shipping of the Kickstarter 2. Um, I wanted to showcase... A couple of games. This one was a gift. I already own this game. But this was a gift from Paul. Retro Bait. He gifted me this game. Um, Warhawk. Which is one of my favourite games on the Spectrum Next. A fantastic shooter. Again I believe I've covered this numerous times. Um, but he wanted to gift me this. Because. This one has. Jim Bagley's signature on it. So. That's a, such a great gift uh, Paul. What it was is he thought the game he had was the one game I'm missing from Rusty Pixels. And the one game I'm missing is Baggers in Space. Um, I keep clicking on every few days. I'm clicking on the Rusty Pixels website. Waiting for their new games to go physical. And hopefully they re-release the old games. Because Jim did say that the old games would get a re-release re -release, uh, when the Kickstarter 2 um, was available. So, yeah... I need to add baggers in space. I bought it digitally, but I need the physical. I love collecting these physical next games. And that leads us on to another next pickup, and that's Tyvarian. This is a cracking puzzle shooter, this. Uh, it's got that just one more go um, element to it. Absolutely stunning game. It really is. I've played this a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, but Rusty Pixels, their games are just absolutely stellar. I can't wait to play uh, their new games. Um, I know there's a sequel to Baggers in Space. And then Crowley, I believe, is another one. Yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with those. Especially um, Paul gifting me that um, with Jim's 
signature in there because absolutely adored Jim's games back in the day. I really did. Um, and yeah, and then to get Tyvarian. So it just means I need to get bags in space and hopefully someone might want to do a swap because I do now have a spare copy of Warhawk. So hopefully I can sell this or trade this so I can get bags in space. That's what I want. That means I've got all three of the original releases by Rusty Pixels. Those of you will um, be seeing in the background that we've got the way of the Exploding Fist. This is the remake by Wasp Studios. This is another recent uh, addition to my next collection. This game um, I ordered it way back in December, I believe it was, or very early December, late November. And um, obviously this game was um, free if you had your receipt to the Kickstarter one next. Um, I didn't back my, my Spectrum next on Kickstarter. I bought it privately after that, um, after it was launched. So I didn't qualify, unfortunately, for a free copy of this game. And then obviously, while well, they uh, uh, sorted all the copies out for those people, and, and I think that was at some events, they finally uh, posted this out. And this came last week. Unfortunately, the postman was a little bit rough with it. And the case has, has smashed so I need to try and locate a replacement case for this. But that's why I've got uh, the way of the Exploding Fist running in the background, guys. It's got an awesome soundtrack, it really has, and such an iconic and nostalgic loading screen, whether you played it on the Spectrum or the Commodore 64. That was always an argument um, that me and my friends would have back in the day, which was the better port. Um, but the Spectrum Next definitely gives this game some massive polish and Wasp Studios have done a cracking job so let's now zoom in because it wouldn't be a Spectrum spectacular video if I didn't cover at least one game and we're going to give the weight of the Exploding Fist a quick blast guys. Here we go guys I thought I'd show you this loading from the get-go the SD card is into the next. We're greeted with this little menu so we press enter to start game a lovely intro here. Wasp Studios presents. In association with. Spec Next. We're just going to give this a playthrough, guys. My first impressions of this absolute classic. Loved this game back in the day, I really did. And there's that iconic load and screen. With the update of the Spectrum Next. Looks beautiful, I love it. Uh, let's go into the options menu. So we can change colours here, so you can change colour of the hair. And you can change the colour of your costume. We've also got audio options where you can alter the sound effects and music. We've got a controls demo there showing you all the different moves to this game. There is a fair few moves to this game. Um, there was back in the day, weren't there, on these one buttoned, one fire buttoned joystick fighters. I loved these back in the day. Who didn't? These were amazing back in the 80s. Um, we'll go back to return there. We're going to play one player. And let's just see where we get. Lovely backgrounds. Beautiful detail. Lovely gradients to the colours. I love the shadows. And this game is very different. Plays very different to IK+. Plus. This one's more about your timing. The timing of your manoeuvres. Anticipating when to strike. Just a relaxing game this, it really is. Just went straight in there with fly kick. Oh yes! Got him with a roundhouse. 
You see that I'm going up the belts. So I'm now a blue belt, is that? Oh! I was getting cocky there. It's even Stevens. And we get him. Look at that waterfall. Lovely effect there. I do really like all the different landscapes. Fits in with the feel of the game. Oh, cheeky. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I think there was a bit of a hit detection glitch there. So we're brown belt, are we? Oh, he blocked me. Oh, I've got to try and remember how to turn around. Can I get a punch in? Yes, I can. <laughs> it's different to YK plus the turn round. But let me know in comments, guys. Have you played this game? What do you think of the look of this game? It's very, you know, it's it's very true to the original. Just with beautiful graphics and a lovely soundtrack. Oh, and I lost. I lost. <laughs> but there we go a fun little game this is i've thoroughly enjoyed it guys um let's put the name in the old youtube curse has definitely hit me because you'll see that i actually do a lot better than this when i'm not recording uh because we went to my name there and i've smashed the the list there and that score was nowhere near my top score but there we go guys until the next time i'm sega zombie goodbye sega, sega, zombie. Zombie. Sega, sega, zombie.